our next nominee for best trailer of 2011. Midnight in Paris, Letty Aronson and Steven Tenenbaum, producers. I mean, this, this is unbelievable. There's no city like this in the world. You're in love with a fantasy. I'm in love with you. What time did you get in last night? Not that late. private detective follow him. And what happened? I don't know. The detective agency says the detective is missing. Very perplexing situation. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I'm going to start this one. Go for it. Okay. I'm going to give this, I'm giving this trailer high marks. Really? I'm going to give this trailer high marks. In I, interesting. Because it, it all, it got, it got me. Because at first I was thinking, you know, it was it was a little too highbrow, you know, but the trailer as an entity of in itself had a story arc to the the trailer, which is one of my tests that I love. Right. The trailer actually gets you into its own story. And it said, you know, Paris in the morning, Paris in the afternoon. It kept building. And kept getting different. Then it hit me with directed by Woody Allen. At the end, the one thing it does, okay, is it leaves you hanging. Because we both want to know what the heck is going on with this dude after midnight. Because he, apparently, it's it's so good, <laughs> the detective that's following him wants to <laughs> is in on is in it's, on the party right or or something is up right because he's gone right and when it said and the beautiful thing about this trailer when it said directed by Woody Allen it was big it was just with it was had its own titling just like the mid the afternoon in Paris right and I was gonna I was gonna say when you when you were talking about mm -hmm. that that it has to be understood that's part of the trailer right and that that's right. helps that's right it really helps that they they threw that up so that you knew also there's a storyteller directing this. Right. So you know that nine times out of ten, what the trailer is already teasing you with, you could just get to the point where you're like, uh, and then, oh, Woody Allen too? Right, right. I'm giving this trailer because of the music. The music is good. Very little dialogue. Storyline. Story I'm giving this trailer an eight. It's a good trailer. It, it does. I, I can't. I, I can't argue against any of your comments. I can't even add on top of them because it does. It's. It is for the sake of what it is. These are all short films. The trailers. That's right. The art of the trailer is the art of a short film. That's right. And this trailer gets you in, and you watch this trailer, and if you have any reason to want to go and watch the movie based on anything other than Woody Allen, like the, the Owen Wilson thing and the other characters, it does make you, it does take you there. Any prejudice I have would be related to the people, not the characters. I see Owen Wilson and I see Owen Wilson, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I like Owen Wilson. But I don't want to see an Owen Wilson character-driven movie. I always like Owen Wilson when he's in the movie, mm -hmm. but not where he is... I mean, he's the focal point of the movie. Everybody wants to know what the hell's Owen doing at night. Right. And I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I want to see that. But that has nothing to do with the trailer. Right. So you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm, I can't go as high as an eight on this one. It's a seven. So this is a good seven trailer, which means it's worth seeing. Now, the hidden story behind this is I've seen three quarters of this movie. You have. And you need to see it. This is a great example of a textbook trailer. The trailer asks you to come see the movie. You saw the trailer and you thought, I want to know what's going on. Right. I'm telling you now, as someone who has seen enough of the movie, you want to see this movie. I think I, it, the, the trailer, tell just that trailer is tell you, don't come see me. This one said, you know, come see me. Midnight in Paris, I've seen enough of it to tell you that in, in the school of trailer review, mm -hmm. Your comments, in view of what I know about the movie, are amazing. Because you want to go see this movie based on a trailer that tells you enough about the movie to get you there, but it doesn't tell you shit about the movie. 
Right. It doesn't tell you. No, I, it, you know, but it doesn't tell it, you. But <laughs> that's part of the beauty. We should write a book in terms of how to make a great trailer because what that trailer does so well is what it doesn't tell you. And most trailers that are really bad, they don't tell you stuff and you don't even ask the question. You, you know something's missing, but you don't ask the question, well, what could it What's possibly missing? be? Right. This one somehow get you to, to ask the question, what's going on? What is that? Because, and, and that's, a, that's a testament to the trailer itself because it fleshed out the characters in that small bit of time. It's amazing how good it is, even though I gave it a seven. You know nothing about the movie right now. No, I don't. But you want to go see it. Yep. You want to check it out. That's, that's, that's huge, man. I almost feel sorry that I gave it a seven. I'm not changing. Um, but... The fact that they got that to work on you, mm -hmm. and I mean, it got me too for a point. I, I did read about it to make sure I wanted to see it, but that's interesting. You will not be prepared for that movie. I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, you know what? You can, because you can kind of tell the 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 breadth of a trailer, and and you can sense what a movie's going to be like. And this looks good. It's weird. That probably should win Best Picture, probably from the, but you know, but we're. It, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's move on. That was good. I like. I like when the good. Now I feel. I know how Cisco and Eber used to feel when they would have. When they would get so excited about good movies because they went through so much bullshit movies. When they had a good one, they it's were like. It's weird though. Oh, I, what's weird for me is I had to go back to remember why did I go see that. Why did I, you know go see it in the first place? What made me go see Midnight in Paris? The, the trailer. Made me go research it, and then I go, okay, I'll go see it, because it's not necessarily in my in my food choices. You know, I like pizza and shit like that, and this is a smart movie. Mm -hmm. So once I investigate it, oh, you know what? Hmm, mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Now that I see the trailer again, and I hear your response, wow, that's an amazing trailer because you know nothing. I really don't. I don't know anything about this movie. Just hearing what you said, it's like, oh my God, he's gonna watch this movie and he's gonna trip out. So watch it. <laughs> That's